We're just having a little father-son time. Learning the mom hacks. Good morning, guys. It's been a good morning. Oh my gosh. What? Look at his little old man hair. Yeah, his little bald spot in the back. <laughs> Elijah and I took a walk this morning with Ollie Boy, and we have a beautiful day. And I think Elijah and I are going to run to the hardware store to get. Do you want to go to Lowe's? We're going to get some wood to repair the rotten board on the back deck. Nice. So, anything else we need? <clears throat> um, not that I know of. Okay. Mary's hanging out with a friend. We're just going to have a little boys day to the day to the hardware store. All right. Let's do it. Okay. We got two ferns for the front uh the front porch that is like a covered front porch. Last year we hung ferns. We didn't water them very well, they died, but they looked right nice for the season, so I thought I'd do it again and maybe water a little better this time. And I got a piece of decking. We're just having a little father-son time. He's getting tired, it's about nap time. But we've had a fun father-son trip to the hardware store. Isn't that right? Okay, the other project I'm working on, or have in my mind to work on, is to create a plexiglass cover for my little fire pit, tabletop fire pit. It has like a vinyl cover that has a hole in it, doesn't do a good job keeping water out. And I'm thinking if I have clear um, plexiglass that it will look nice even when the cover's on. Right now it just looks awful when the cover's on it. So. I realize I don't have the measurements of it and I should get exact measurements because it looks like they'll cut it for me here and then so if I get the measurements of each side of basically like a like a cover that I can sit on it and I'm gonna epoxy it together into the shape of anyway I'll show you once I get it but that'll be a project for another day well we're gonna head home get this stuff home get started on the deck project and get this guy down for a nap. So we'll see you guys at home. All right, Elijah and I made it home. He took a nap. I started working on mowing the lawn while he was taking a nap. And I've just got a little bit left on the backyard to do, but I'm making us some lunch. We're doing grilled cheese. We just have shredded cheddar, so I'm just <laughs> making it work. And uh, on mine, I'm putting some avocado because we have an overripe avocado. So I'm going to do avocado mm -hmm. cheese and uh, butter the bread and sizzle it up. And then we're having barbecue chips and a Grillo's pickle. All right, they're like my favorite pickles. <laughs> Anyways, that's lunch here at the Fry House. Lunch is served. Mary's changing Elijah's diaper. We started a puzzle last night. We, I don't know why we're in a puzzling mood, but we did this puzzle on Friday night and, well, I guess we finished it Saturday. And then this puzzle, we started last night. Mary and her friend worked on it for a bit uh, while they chatted. So it's uh, well underway. Last night we decided to do barnyard and brownies instead of doing the donuts and donuts because we thought about getting donuts and doing this puzzle, but we opted for barnyard brownies. Mary's got IBIG here in like 40 minutes, so we get it out so it's room temperature once the nurse gets here. All right, let's eat. Okay, we just accessed my port because my nurse is coming for IVIG today. So I just set everything up. So when she walks in, first I show her I flush my port and show her blood return. I think there's some sort of formality that the drug shouldn't be transferred until the nurse sees blood return. Typically the nurse would access the port, but since we're independent, I just show her that it's drawing blood, which actually it didn't draw blood, but then we repositioned the needle and it did. My port's just, this port has been kind of weird from day one, but we got blood return, so we're good. And then I will put the drug into this bag, hook it up to the IV tubing that goes into this pump. And I think I'm gonna go sit at my 
painting desk because I've been starting to paint more. I just haven't been able to or like haven't made that a priority. And maybe a week or so ago, I was like, I need to open up my painting desk and just like have a cup of water on there so that I can just walk over there. And I literally was holding Elijah a couple days ago and just walked up and <laughs> grabbed this paintbrush and went like this and just added something to the tree and I'm just having fun. So I think I'll sit at my painting desk. My nurse usually sits at the kitchen table. And then every time my rate changes for the medication, like the pump, it will change rate and every time. Wherever I'm at in the house, I take my blood pressure and my th uh, temperature and tell her the numbers and she writes it down. And that's how it works. Now, uh, supposedly what, what we hear is that things are changing and now I'm gonna like, uh, in a few months from now, maybe have to go to an infusion center instead of having the nurse come here. I don't know. I don't know how that, why or how, but we'll just, for now, this is how it is. When that happens, we'll handle it. We'll figure it out. We'll just do the next thing. Okay, Mary, her nurse is here. They're inside doing her IVIG infusion. While Elijah was sleeping, I was able to stain the decking board for the back deck. I will have to cut it, uh, figure out what size it needs to be for. I don't know, I need to kind of take up a, a piece. I just realized hopefully that piece is long enough for the piece I need to replace. I think it will be. And what was the other thing I did? Oh, I'll show you. I told you I put the ferns in the front window. Let's see. There they are, getting a nice sun glare, but um, looking nice. And while I was mowing, I will show you guys. This is a project I need to work on one day. Is I have a remnant of um, Bermuda grass here, whereas the rest of our lawn is fescue. I need to kill this and plant fescue one day. One day we'll get there. But while I was mowing, I noticed that, uh, oh, there's Mary. Let's see. Can you guys see her? She's in there doing her IVIG. Hey, Mary. So I noticed that this fence post is missing a piece. And while I was weed whacking, I saw it was down on the ground. So I brought some wood glue out with us. We're going to stick it up there. See if it stays. It's hot out here. Got it on there. It's a little bit dirty, but I think it'll do the job. Voila. I ain't got no needle in my chest. In my chest. I ain't got no needle in my chest. I would love to know how many times that song has been sung in infusion centers across America. Across the world! My port usually bleeds a little bit, so I keep these teeny circle band-aids in my IVIG bin because I've realized over the years, if I'm bleeding, I think about it, and I'm like, oh, I don't want it to get on my shirt. I don't want it to... So I've learned, just, just buy the tiny band-aids and put them on. Oh, oh my goodness. This is quite the experience. It didn't really help. The Band-Aid like squished the blood. Oh well, what you gonna do? I officially figured out how to hold the IVIG pump and bag, walk upstairs, get the baby out of the crib, and bring him down. And then I was sitting at my desk painting, holding Elijah. The IVIG was sitting next to me. It all just worked out. So I call that a success. Learning the mom hacks with a baby.
Here's what I ended up painting while I was doing IVIG. I started with that pathway. Then I added these trees. Then I, I just kept going. I just had fun with it. Did another extra tree on this other part that was sticking out. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. When we're older, we were safe. What a life I think we made it. We worked hard and never said quit my love. When we're older, the kids will say, the Lord bless you and keep you in everything that you do take on. We just came for a picnic in the median of the light grocery store parking lot. <laughs> It's outside the Chinese place, and oh. we got General South chicken, Eli's just kicking, and <laughs> chilling. We're gonna have a little picnic. That little hand. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thanks for coming on our day, everybody. Bye! Always. See you next day.